love, the kind of thing that keep poet and philosopher up at night try to find the right word to explain what it is. Because as you know, the feeling that you have when you're in love is just indescribable. Well, I want to find out what is love. So I asked a few of my friends, what made them fall in love? I usually shake out the hips first. Honesty and passion. The hips. Eyes. The eyes. His hands. Um, His height. Lip, lips. Hips. Hips. Um, Her humor. And the smile. The curve. Charisma. Yeah, energy. And the smile. Smile. Her lips. The Her mouth. Her, Her eyes. eyes. The face. Her humor. And the hair. The whole thing. Well, Simon have a very good answer to explain what love is. Human, we are all animal. You, me, them, everybody. We are driven by our brain chemical and body. And when we fall in love, well, that's a big one. Obviously, we can make our own choices. But attraction, lust, and love are driven by our animal nature. We want to find a good genetic match. A good mate so that we can pre-produce. And we want to raise our offspring. It's a part of our Asian programming. When you first fall in love, your brain light up like a firework, release tons of powerful chemical and neurotransmitter. Hormone that can trigger feeling that you would describe as bonding, euphoria, and butterfly in your stomach. According to researcher, there are three stages of love, lust, attraction, and attachment, and each stage is driven by a different hormone and chemical. Lust, the first stage of love, is driven by sex hormone, testosterone, and oestrogen. This stage it depends on the proportional body dimension and symmetrical face, like when you're checking out a hot girl or a hot guy at your friend's birthday party. The second stage of love is the attraction, aka the time when you are truly love struck and can think of literally nothing else but love. This stage is all about flooding the brain reward system with multiple waves of feel good chemical and neurotransmitter like adrenaline and norepinephrine or dopamine. Neuropenephrine and adrenaline amp up your heart rate to get you all excited while dopamine drip make you feel ecstatic and delightful. This chemical turn on your pleasure and feeling good switch inside your brain, therefore lowering your pleasure threshold would really make you feel good about everything. Biologically speaking, with the combination of dopamine and adrenaline in your body, you are experiencing something that is similar to the feeling of being high on cocaine. And it doesn't really matter whether you just met this special person or you have known them for ages. The love signal can just be released at any time. The last hormone that is involved in this state is serotonin. Have you ever heard of the pickup line, you've been running through my mind all day? Well, there's actually some truth to that, and you can blame it on serotonin. When you're in love, your serotonin level is decreasing. It makes you obsessive and moody, making you feel happy but at the same time anxious about your love. This can help explain the 40 plus tech your besotted new lover send you when you're in the shower. The last stage of love is attachment, which is the bond that keeps the couple together long enough for them to have and raise children. The hormone that is most specific about feeling in love at this stage is oxytocin and vasopressin. Some scientists would refer oxytocin as the cuddle hormone. It gets released during an orgasm or for a woman during childbirth. In a woman, oxytocin causes uterine contraction during labor and have shrink the uterus after delivery. Oxytocin also promotes the mother and child bonding. When an infant suckles at his or her mother's breast, the stimulant causes a release of oxytocin which stimulates the body to produce milk for the baby to drink. Vasopressin, on the other hand, is linked to a behavior that produces long-term monogamous relationship. It also plays a protective role in the behavioral defense of family and self. In a study of the bravery role, when a male bravery role was given a drug that suppressed vasopressin, 
they began to neglect the partner and not finding of other male bull who wanted to mate with her. Love consists of multitude of things, but the chemical foundage can explain a multiple of human reaction, desire, attachment, and connection are the bread and the butter of love and can be found in every person on this planet. So next time when a friend say our love is one of a kind, you might want to provide a with a few facts.